Okay, this is a video to talk a little bit about some C++ and declaring uh, basic variables. Uh, things like integers and doubles and floats to store uh, numerical values. So, oh, sorry, uh, this is a little to go over uh, how to declare variables and how to declare data types and what those are. So, first things first, uh, I'm using uh, I am using Visual Studio uh, 2013, the newest version. You can use any other version. Uh, will work just fine. It might look a little bit different. And there are some things I can kind of remember the differences are. And I will uh, point those out when I can remember them. Otherwise, um, there might be a few things you might need to look up. But I highly doubt it. So uh, in any case, you can, other, you can always use uh, other things. Eclipse has like a C++ compiler as well that you could be using. Um, and as long as you know how to create new projects, open new projects, it won't be any different as far as coding. So uh, first things first, I'm going to make a new project. I'm going to go to File New in Visual Studio. And I'm going to go Win32 Console Application. And um, I'm just going to call it uh, Variables for right now, because we're just declaring some basic variables. I'm going to hit OK. And then this little wizard is going to come up. And uh, all I'm going to do is hit next. And I'm going to uncheck these two things because they're not really relevant. And then I'm just going to hit finish. And that's it. And there we go. And it's uh, it's kind of put together some uh, pre-compiled stuff for us. Some uh, header files and some class files that we need to uh, get this going. So, um, And I urge you to look, kind of look through those when you get a little bit more comfortable with understanding some of the more complex coding later on. Or if you are already that you should look at those. Um, so anyways, uh, there will be no uh, visual aspects of this, no like text boxes or buttons or windows or anything, just a basic uh, black console output application. So nothing uh, nothing crazy, uh, Just this is just to get basics down for right now. So for people who uh, this may be uh, their first language that they want to learn or uh, they're not comfortable with how it quite works. So in any case, uh, you need to do a couple things here. We need to include a header file, so include IO stream, and then we also need to include uh, a namespace called uh, std. And these two things are going to allow us to read and write things to the console application. So, uh, and you'll see kind of how that works. Um, um, if you're using a <coughs> older Visual Studio, you might actually see that you need some brackets around your uh, include like that. Um, but it looks like they actually just kind of abolish that or uh, completely in the newest version. So um, anyways, all right, so let's just talk a little bit really quick how you declare something. So in this case, I'm going to declare an int. Uh, which is short for integer, uh, and then I'm going to say just call it val. I'm going to and uh, right now, basically how you declare variables in most or any programming languages, uh, typically you would declare the data type, and a data type is just uh, means a character, an integer, a double, uh, uh, an object. Um, uh, in this case, an integer again, and then you give it a variable name, so a data type and a variable name, and it's almost always that pattern for everything. Um, and I'm actually going to do use the equal sign here, which means I'm assigning that variable uh, a value, and in this case, let's say eight. And then you'll notice at the end of uh, not these two header files, but actually this namespace. I have a colon here, a semicolon. I have a semicolon at the end of my declaration of variable, and we have a semicolon at the end of return zero. And <clears throat> you'll you'll learn way later on why there isn't one uh, here and here. I, I could put one here, but uh, the compiler already knows that that's an end uh, to the to the this particular part of the program, so it doesn't need to know that, but this just tells the compiler, hey, this is the end of a coding line, and I can go to the next line and begin to read the next line of code, so, um, and when I say compiler, I mean Visual Studio uh, in reference, so, uh, anyways, so right now I just say int val, and we want to kind of display that out to our console right now, and, 
And the idea is, well, uh, how do we do that? Well, basically, we use a method called cout. And depending on what version you're using, I'm using Professional. If you're using a uh, Express Edition, you might not see all of these uh, what's called IntelliSense options. Um, I would say C out, and then two less than signs, and I'm just going to say val end line. Um, and you notice I said end line because that's what this particular little line of code tells it. Uh, it's a method saying this is the end of a line in the console. Uh, go to the next line and start running on there. So, and uh, so right now we just have a integer called val, which is the variable name, and we assigned it the number eight. And at this point, we're just outputting the value. So I'm going to build our project and build successfully. So I'm going to run it. And you'll see, notice right away, like a quick flash happened. The application popped up and then disappeared. That's because we're debugging it. And it's going to start and stop the application right away. So actually, we need to, uh, we need to stop it. So I'm just going to do this really quick. I'm just going to say declare car. Uh, rent and and um, this is actually how you get input. I'm going to say C N rent. And actually, that's going to then let us see what's going on here. And character is just expecting a numeric value. If you put or a uh, alphanumeric value. If you put a uh, integer or anything else in there, it will actually crash the program. Um, so I just built the project, and we're going to output. And you can see it just outputted that number eight. Right? That, that might be tough to see. Let me uh, let me uh, display it a little bit here. All right. So now let's try it. There you go. So now you can see. We assign the value eight, and I gave it. I just gave that C out a what's called a string, a physical st uh, string, and I said I want you to print this exact uh, value, and that said value is equal to, and then it printed out the eight. So you can see that value is equal to eight. Print out an eight, and it, we used C out the string I wanted it to say are two less than signs. Anything in between variables and strings, I could do, I could put as many of these in there as I want. I can go forever. Um, really, it's not that, it's, you know, it's whatever I want to do with it. And it just outputs that. So I'm just going to type the letter A, hit enter, and the program closes out. And that's it. And that's all you need. So that's how you would declare a numerical value for uh, C++ program, and this is kind of a quick crash course on how to output information. So uh, hopefully this was a valuable tutorial really quick, and we'll see you in a different one.